Why, hello, and welcome back to another Introvert Diaries, where me, an introvert, takes you along with me through my day. And today in particular, I am an introverted workaholic and I need to relax. So I'm gonna take y'all along with me, show you what I do to relax. I kind of did another one of these videos, de-stress with me a few weeks ago, but I'm gonna be doing different things today uh, because I'm in a different kind of stress. <laughs> so I will give you a little life update later on. However, I just got back from the gym insert my workout here <laughs> And now I am hungry, so I am going to uh, help myself not become stressed by feeding myself a good meal. So this is food that I made yesterday, just some rice with sesame and poppy seeds. And what all is in here? Shredded carrots, mango, green onion, cucumber, edamame, and pickled ginger with pickled radishes and a ginger sriracha mayo sauce. I will leave a recipe for this down in the description box below because this is quite possibly one of the best things I've ever made. Not being dramatic. I mean, look at it. It's so good. Mm -mm -mm. I am just going to enjoy this along with a drink that I got at Sprouts and I'm just gonna watch some of my favorite relaxing YouTubers. I feel like a lot of people turn to Netflix but I just love YouTube so I'm going to leave some of my favorite relaxing YouTubers down in the description box in case you want to check them out as well. All right, now that I'm done eating, I'm going to go take a nice relaxing bath with all of the bath products that I literally bought six months ago and have not used because I am a workaholic. Um, but first, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a life update in case you were curious because in my last vlog, I did like a plan with me and I talked about doing a trip to Mexico and I was super excited, but the school that I was supposed to go to in Mexico hasn't gotten back to me, so... I've kind of given up on that. Also, the company that I teach English to little kids who live in China for, they told me that I can't work for them while living abroad. So I know that once I move, I can't work for them. So it's not like I need to go to Mexico and test and see if this works. I know it's not gonna work. So I know that I'm just gonna have to continue tutoring adults on Cambly, which is amazing <laughs> um, that I have that option. But yeah, I'm excited to kind of reframe this Mexico trip and the stress that's kind of come from it. And I'm gonna actually take just four days to go to Sedona, Arizona and literally just use it to relax. I haven't taken three days off of work in a row in uh, way too long. So um, I'm going to go enjoy that trip. I rented an Airbnb. I'm staying in a like little teepee. I'm really excited. And yeah, I'm gonna use that as an opportunity to make some more hiking vlogs and some relaxing meditations as well as yoga videos that are out in the Sedona Red Rock country. So I'm really excited for it. And I think it's really important to take this time to unplug. I, the teepee has no Wi-Fi, so um, I'm really just kind of forcing myself to relax kind of like I am today while making this video. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for some Sedona content instead of Mexico content. <laughs> um, I will end up with Mexico content eventually. Um, I do plan to move abroad by the end of this year. So stay tuned. <laughs> um, luckily I have this apartment for the next month and a half and then I'm able to rent month to month afterwards. So I'm gonna do that probably through October or November just to finish out the year at Choose Fitness teaching yoga. I really just wanna have like a solid year of experience teaching yoga before I go and try to get jobs teaching yoga abroad. So yeah, I'm excited. Speaking of my house, actually, I have rearranged everything <laughs> since my last house tour because I have a new neighbor, which is also the cause of my stress. His dog has been barking nonstop. So I moved my bedroom into my living room. Let me show you what I mean. <laughs> 
So this is my teaching corner. This is where I was just sitting. This hasn't changed at all. However, as you can see, my bed is right here next to the front door, casual. Um, and I've put up blackout curtains on all of the windows in this room. So it's nice and dark, I can sleep. My couch got pushed into this corner. This is where I used to film yoga. I haven't really taken that down, but it's fine. Uh, that's my dining room table. It no longer has plants on it because it's too dark in here. That's where my kitchen is. And then this is my bedroom. Uh, so that's where the bed is. This is where my bedroom used to be. I have now turned this into my yoga room. So I have made a few yoga videos in here so far. Little shelf with my plants mirror, pl more plants, and my Roby signs, some of my art that I've painted, uh, my sarong from Thailand, my Christmas lights, and uh, more art, <laughs> and some more plants. All of my plants now live in here because it's way too dark out there. And I finally have a clear wall in my house to practice handstands, so I'm very excited for that. Sometimes I tutor <laughs> on Cambly sitting right here because it's more comfortable to sit on my uh, meditation cushion here than it is to sit in my desk chair. Uh, but yeah, I have my yoga mat here so I can finally practice while seeing myself in the mirror because mirrors definitely help with alignment. And then through there, bathroom, water heater. So I'm going to go take a bath in here right now. Alrighty, <laughs> I have finished with my bath, my muscles feel much more relaxed, however now I'm going to relax my mind by painting a picture. Now I'm nowhere near a professional watercolor painter, but this is just one of those hobbies that I find fun and relaxing for my mind, I don't really have to worry too much about it. And I found this photo on my Instagram the other day, and I think it would be fun to try and recreate it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this b-roll of me painting anyways. Hopefully I don't make too many mistakes. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know what I'm up to when I'm done. Thank you. 